Welcome to Test Proctoring for Smarties 2011. Hi, I'm Terry Easley and I'm here to share state required information regarding the 2011 Measurements of Student Progress, High School Proficiency Exams, and End of Course Exams. OSPR requires we provide this training to all administrators. We'll review this PowerPoint and answer any questions you may have. For the sake of time, I'll give condensed information from the screens. Please read complete details prior to your staff training. OSPI requires effective implementation of the State Assessment Program. Screens with the dot in the corner are for proctor training. Again this year, we'll provide you a separate PowerPoint. You are responsible to ensure that standard procedures are followed. Here is the WAC found in the Code of Conduct. Test prep activities must be appropriate. The link has detailed information. Principal responsibilities are listed here and on the next page. You are responsible for training all staff involved in testing and having secure space for test materials. Principals must also ensure adequate student supervision and staffing and monitor the testing process. Test irregularities must be reported to Pat or me. Please be sure to complete and return the security reports with your test materials. School test coordinators are responsible to attend training, work with principal and staff to coordinate assessment activities, and sign the security report. Test proctors are those who read directions to the students. They must attend your training session, administer the tests according to the directions for administration, and sign security documents as required by OSPI. The RCW and WAC shown here govern the penalties related to disclosure of test items and acts of unprofessional conduct. For security purposes, school employees must not read, review, or scrutinize test items except as needed for students with specific IEP, LEP, or 504 documentation. Test proctors should document testing irregularities after notifying the school test coordinator. Many of these updates have been communicated earlier in the school year. Please review this list and share it with your test coordinator and staff. It's wise to start planning now. Administrators must communicate testing information to staff and parents, ensure accuracy of data in ESIS, grade levels, admit withdraw and absences, have a plan for backpacks, purses, electronic devices, and monitoring hallways. This packet doesn't cover all the details of test administration. Each test proctor must read and follow the directions exactly as they are written. The source of all wisdom, the directions for administration. Here are the items that may remain on the walls during testing. This is unchanged from previous years. The following must be removed or covered. Posters may be used to motivate students and cover items that are not allowed on the walls. Have a plan for tracking materials. Prepare all materials for testing well in advance. 
All students at grades 3 through 8 are expected to be tested. Students taking paper and pencil MSP tests must take the same test on the same day. You are encouraged to test partially enrolled students. You will not be given zeros for those students. Tenth graders who enroll during the testing window should participate in the remaining sessions of the HSPE. New 11th and 12th graders may also participate in the remaining sessions. High school students may not make up tests given prior to their arrival. Books of students who withdrew during testing should be submitted for scoring. The statements in the red box may be posted on walls or read to the group prior to testing. All staff should create a positive testing environment. A testing sign 